Oh, only just. Oh man, I feel like that's exactly what it's going to be like in two days. Just waiting for that last 500, everyone's going to be itching. And, uh, and I can't wait that long, so I think when Robbie went around me, that was kind of like an indication. And I, I decided to kind of put my focus in the last 70 meters and hold off. And yeah, if I had, if I had gone with him, I don't know, it may have been a little bit better finish. But regardless, I mean, I'm through, the job's done. I'm just going to focus on Sunday now. How did you feel about loss? I mean, better than I thought I would. I think uh, my legs have been kind of tired lately. And I don't know, I'm not trying to make any excuses. I just came around the turn. I was like, oh, I got more than I think I do. And so I can serve too much. And, uh, you know, I paid for it. But I got through. So, you know, lessons learned today. And we'll take it, move, take it forward. Did you know you had to just finish in the top seven to get through on that one? I, had, I mean, I had a feeling after 250 meters, I looked up and saw Eric Avila, and I was just in my head yelling. I was like, Eric, please go! Just go! And thankfully, it was a Dusty Solis who took off, and you know, we made it a bit more of an honest race. But, you know, it's going to be that times 100 on Friday, uh, Sunday, so can't wait so long to, to get the job done. Did I get another gear coming out of the home stretch? Um, maybe, maybe if, uh, if I played it right, I could. But I think uh, I, I went went to the well the last 20 meters just to try and, you know, guarantee a spot. But, you know, there's, again, lessons that have been that to learn. And put them into action on Sunday. It's not a lean across the line, too. You weren't leaving anything to chance. No, no I was nervous. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm fine. I just need to... Readjust for Sunday. Oh my God! <laughs> I was like, "This is great. I'm gonna do a final two days early." <laughs> yeah, no, it's great. It's basically the same exact race with the same exact guys are gonna be in, be in it in two days. And I mean, I sent that to my uh, to my coach. I was like, "Mark, I didn't realize the final was today." It's like, regardless, put it aside. You got a job to do. It's no, this is a humor right now. Is there an advantage to having so much green? I think so. I mean, it feels it feels very much like a, kind of like a Pac-12 kind of race, where you know you're looking at all your guys around you and they're looking back, and you know, at the back of our minds, we're thinking, you know, we got to beat all of you. But it's just, I don't know, it's guy love. You guys have a little camaraderie going? Uh, I wouldn't say so. Yesterday it was a lot of fun because it was so high high intensity, but today it was like everybody knew what the job was and everyone went out to try and get it done. So the humor's dissipated since yesterday. Thoughts about qualifying time? I don't care. I, I think if I can make a third, it'd be great. But I mean, I've made two. That's that's good. Uh, I would love more than anything to make a third. But I also haven't won a national title. Uh, there are some things on home soil that I would like to accomplish too. So being second or third and going to Rio would be magnificent. But if I can squeeze out a national title, that would be uh, almost on par. Fifth last year, how do you feel your uh, fitness progress to USA's last year? Um, I think it's probably it's better. I know it's better. It's just the other guys are just as good, if not better. So it's just a matter of figuring out the right place to exercise your, your tactics. All right, cool down.